Hi there Aries, so I'm going to be doing your reading right now and I like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button, that way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button as well. So I'm going to be doing past, present and future, it's still going to be a love reading, okay Aries? So let's get started. Aries. Aries. Past energy for Aries. The past energy for Aries, please. The past energy for Aries. It's the Queen of Wands. Well, that's your card right there. Look at that. I see a match here with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. I love it. But what's going on here? The Three of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, now the present energy. Justice in reverse, though present energy it's the knight of swords in reverse and the two of swords and the future energy the star in reverse it's like it starts off positive and then boom what's going on here the devil <laughs> No. And the overall. The hair font. So this could very well have been a marriage. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It could just be a very spiritual connection. And I do see a match here with the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands. So there's a lot of passion here. But yet I there has to be a disconnect, especially when I'm looking at the rest of the cards. But I don't see someone walking away. This person's quite focused on you here. So you're showing up as being very charming, attractive, confident. Someone could be feeling restless though. Someone could be losing their patience. It could even be you losing your patience with this person. But with justice in reverse, the Knight of Swords in reverse, I feel like someone's not taking action or balance th balancing things out or making things right here, even though there is a match in energy. So the Two of Swords could be someone stuck in their headspace or lacking clarity, okay? Maybe being protective over their heart space. And with the star card in reverse, the page of pentacles, and with the devil, there is some sort of negative cycle here. Um, and so when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's going on here. So maybe someone's overthinking things, they're losing hope. So let's clarify the hair font. It's like the king of wands and the queen of wands is in the upright. The rest of the cards are in reverse except the devil and the hierophant. So this is interesting. And the two of swords, like. So this is telling me that there's a lot of overthinking here. And someone has to put an end to that negative cycle. So let's clarify the Hierophant for the overall, for Aries, please. The Hierophant for Aries, please. There you go, the Hermit in reverse. Something needs to be healed in this dynamic with the Hermit card and the Star card, or someone has to go through the healing process. They're having to gain some sort of awareness here in order to embark on this brand new beginning. So you could very well be dealing with a special connection here. Uh, but it's like the Eight of Swords in reverse. So this is talking about like someone having to get out of their headspace in order to embark on this brand new beginning. There also has to be an end to stagnancy. So let's clarify the Queen of Wands. page of wands. So someone has clearly sparked an interest in you um, or you've could have, you could have sparked an interest in each other since I do see you side by side here. So let's get two other cards before I say anything. There you go, the nine of cups, but you could be embarking on this brand new journey, right? Pursuing the things that you're passionate, passionate about, focusing on your own wish fulfillment here with the nine of cups. So maybe this person sees that and they're just let me get another card. There you go, strength. 
Well, that's what it, it seems like. It seems like you're focused on your own wish fulfillment. And this could be someone's perception of you as well. So they're just kind of focused on you, but yet not taking action. So let's clarify that. There you go, the star card in reverse. So they're having trouble healing from this disconnect. Or um, maybe there could be losing hope here. Or maybe they're not feeling balanced. But it's like a never-ending cycle with the world card in reverse. It seems like there is something unfinished here. So maybe it's talking about like healing things within this dynamic. But someone could... And there you go, death. And the three of wands. So someone is really feeling restless here. Um, so there has to be an end to a cycle with death here. There has to be changes within this dynamic. So let's clarify the Three of Wands in reverse with the Seven of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Cups. So you're coming across as being very loving and very nurturing as well. So maybe you're, you could be losing your patience or kind of feeling restless here when it comes to this person. The Five of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe you're trying to get over feeling left out in the cold here. But Justice. Interesting in the upright. So I really feel like you want what's right here with justice. You want this person to make things right possibly or to balance things out in this dynamic. Because I don't see someone walking away here. This could require someone to be emotionally vulnerable, right? So let's clarify justice in reverse. There you go, the hangman. So someone's trying to look at things from various perspectives here. This is talking about stagnancy, though, as well. Someone's trying to gain clarity. The Three of Swords in reverse. Someone really needs to heal their heart space here, possibly, to let go of any sort of pain. This could even be you overcoming pain as well. Especially if things were not made right here. Judgment. So this could have been a, like a, a judgment call that you made, or this is someone that's having to make an important choice to balance things out and make things right in this dynamic here. But I don't see someone really taking action because they could be stuck in their headspace. So let's clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse. The Three of Pentacles, exactly. Not taking any action towards working things out here. The Seven of Wands, but it, in reverse. So it's requiring someone to put in the effort. Right? In order to reach a compromise here. And get out of this negative space here with the Five of Cups in reverse. This could also be you possibly even throwing yourself into work. Okay? Um, this, this could even be someone like having to take their guard down. Especially if there are walls that have been built up here. So let's clarify the Two of Swords. There you go, the Three of So someone's really guarded here. And that's why there's no reconciliation. But they're having trouble unloading the heaviness of this disconnect here. So they could very well be stuck in their headspace about things. La and that's... They're lacking clarity. So the Four of Pentacles is showing up in reverse. So this is someone that's having to let go of that heaviness. And be expressive about how they feel here. So maybe this is you embarking on a brand new beginning. But let's clarify the star card in reverse. Oh, what is this? Is this in the upright? It could be. Oh, <laughs> I saw it in the upright. I'll be right back. No, in the reverse. It's the Ace of Wands in reverse. So let's get two other cards before I say anything. There you go. There is something unfinished in this connection. I feel like someone's having trouble unloading the heaviness and the pain of this disconnect. Uh, I really feel like uh, this person's not really expressing their desires here, even though there is, there, there is desire. There is like physical attraction here. But um, where, where are the cups here? 
So this is someone having to listen to their intuition, intuition in order to gain clarity. <sighs> right now I hardly see any cups though, okay? So maybe this is someone that's having to be emotionally vulnerable here. But um, let's get the page of cups in reverse. The lovers. Look at that, it's like the Empress right in the... So I can read it both ways. So it's like there has to be like someone having to... Um, maybe there's insecurities here or uncertainty. Someone really has to listen to their intuition because I do see a very special connection here with the lovers, but you may not even be together in the 3D. So I see the lovers and the, the devil side by side. So it's really talking about like... Um, a there is desire here, but I don't feel like this. Um, so maybe you pulled your energy back. So let's clarify the devil card in reverse. There we go. There is desire here. Temptation. There, there's your um, emotions. But there are, this person's emotions could very well be weighing like heavily on their shoulders or they could be feeling overwhelmed here by their feelings. But it's like the magician in reverse. So they're having to get out of a negative cycle here in order to manifest anything out of this connection here. Let's get another card. So I do see a match and there's your king of wands again. So this person does have a lot of passion for you, but they're not really expressing it. Okay. Um, so finally I got the knight of cups, which is talking about romantic love here. And this could very well be overwhelming them. There is temptation, desire. Um, but I see the lovers in the upright as well. So things can take a turn for the positive here. Once someone takes action, and goes maybe if they're either healing something within their heart space or healing something within this dynamic in order to balance things out here so let's get further insight from the intimate tarot for aries please this tarot this intimate tarot helps me get like more insight of like what could actually happen here like it's, it's like there's always something to work on and the, the hermit is showing up in reverse here someone really needs to listen to their intuition coming right back what's this there you go the star so there is desire here um someone's wanting the both of you to come together there could be a healing element to this connection as well but there could be disappointment with the seven of swords someone could have walked away or this is like a disappointment on both sides appearing as if one is detached especially if there is a disconnect right or the both of you may not be speaking to each other The hangman twice and the queen of wands so they're finding you very attractive they like your physical appearance they think of you in a very high regard but the hangman is someone that's kind of looking at things from various perspectives trying to gain some sort of enlightenment here but um the three of cups so it's like there there could be a potential reconciliation here The moon, but someone's keeping their feelings hidden under the moon. So there could be fantasizing, dreaming. So I really feel like someone has to get out of their headspace, possibly. Where there has to be forward momentum. This card just keeps popping out here. Maybe they're trying to gain some sort of enlightenment in regards to how you feel. Maybe they want more before they act. Okay. So the Page of Pentacles, interesting, especially when I look at this card. 
and I feel like someone could be feeling restless. So this King of Wands could be feeling restless here. So let's get another card, one more. There you go, the tower. So this is really talking about like someone having to gain some sort of awareness here about this situation. Someone could have a slight jealous strike, but there has to be changes in this dynamic, right? There has to be forward momentum in order to work things out here. So there has to be an end to a negative cycle. All right, Aries. So that's my reading for you and I'll see you next time. Take care now.